What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Rog Attack. And we're going back for another tune by Guigu. Uh, I say Rog Attack. I suppose it is more accurate to call this one just hard tech or hard techno. Um, you know, it doesn't really have any reggae samples or, like, you know, keyboards or horns. Um, it is very much uh, like a driving hard techno tune, like a free techno tune. Uh, once again, let's give uh, props to both Narcotech the label and Guigu for this amazing picture disc. I'm not sure exactly what distance to show it at. Um, but yeah, the this side is great, but the side we're going to listen to now, um, I think is my favorite. Just that haunting, you know, skull and the sort of, um, you know, uh, the ruins, the like barren wasteland uh, with crows, a murder of crows flying by. Uh, yeah, so we're going to listen to How Many Tears, uh, which, you know, it's a phrase that sort of fits this image, you know, how many, like, the, such desolation and erosion um, and, you know, implied death, uh, yeah, it just really seems to fit uh, with the phrase How Many Tears, uh, and again, it's not really a Rogatech tune, it is, like, dark, it feels, um, you know, like a, a mystical haunted graveyard almost. Uh, and there's like a breakdown section with a, a bit of a hip-hop beat, which I enjoy. There is something interesting about the tune. Um, when we get to the end, uh, I'm going to show you something interesting. Uh, maybe not um, the entire track again, but if you, when you play this track on 33 RPM, it actually becomes a really interesting like haunting trance tune that reminds me of like a brain bug uh, track. Uh, but in the first uh, hearing, we will listen to it at the proper speed, uh, which is, again, hard techno. It's fast. Uh, yo, that is some of the best instrumental hip hop I've ever heard. It's like Doctor Doom meets Wu Tang meets something else. Uh, like grinding, buzzing bass.
instrumental hip hop out there. In, at least in terms of like atmosphere and vibe. It's one of the best. Um, you know, I'm sure he's made many tunes um, since then that are um, equally, or even to his mind or others, more brilliant. But that one to me is just, it's one of my favorite hard tech tunes ever. I could listen to that anytime. Uh, and it just reinforces, again, I love Ross Stew, man. Um, but that, that track is definitely my favorite on the release. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of that one. Uh, we're now, as I mentioned, going to very quickly uh, show you what happens if you play this on 33 RPM. Sounds like a stripped down side trance track, right? So then.
use this in the train set. Now obviously, this part would present an issue. You could perhaps quickly go to 45 when this starts and right at the transition, if you can pull it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure that would work. Ultimately, uh, I suppose the breakdowns would pose the biggest issue because uh, then it becomes like this really slow kind of hip hop flavor. Um, but like I said, these sections, 100%, could work in like a more melodic side trance set, I would say. In any case, I just thought that was interesting. Um, it's one of those things where I have some hardcore records that I have tried on, you know, 33, if they're a 45 track. Um, and oftentimes they create some, like, really interesting, it sounds like old school, like hard techno. Um, so yeah, every once in a while I'll, I'll play around with the record on different RPM and see what happens. Sometimes intentionally, uh, sometimes unintentionally. Uh, but in any case, let me know what you think of this on the proper speed, and if you have an opinion, what you think of it on the slower, like, trance-style speed. In any case, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Peace.